this is a screencast on a sketch of the idea behind the proof of the Cauchy condensation test. And also, simultaneously, uh, part of the reason why the harmonic, harmonic si series diverges. So maybe to start with, uh, the harmonic series diverges and this half of the Cauchy condensation, that's a little backwards arrow in the CC for Cauchy condensation, and the harmonic series diverges, that's almost legible. Right, this is working on the basic idea that one half is bigger than or equal to one third. I can even say strictly bigger than it, but I'm going to hold that thought for a second. One fifth, bigger than or equal to one sixth, bigger than or equal to one seventh, bigger than or equal to one eighth, etc., etc., etc. When you look at the harmonic series, then it's one plus one half, plus one third, plus one fourth, plus one fifth, plus one sixth plus one seventh, plus one eighth, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what happens uh, both in this direction of the Cauchy condensation test and the harmonic series is for our convenience, we're gonna group these two alone, one, one and one half. These two I'll put together, these four I'll put together. After that, I'll put eight together and then 16 together and so forth. And the reason why is gonna be ease of computation. Why is that? Because if you look at just this, for instance, one third plus one fourth, I can make it really easy to add these two up. And the way I can do that is I can note, hey, one third is bigger than or equal to one fourth. So I'm going to replace this one third with the one fourth there. Now the cost is I no longer have a quality. Instead, I have something that's strictly bigger than it. Because I know that one third is actually strictly bigger than one fourth. So now, if I want to write this out, right, one plus one half plus one fourth plus one fourth. So now, as I'm grouping it, these two one fourths are going to go together. And then what that gives me is it just gives me a one half, which is nice and easy to add up. Very similarly over here, what I can do is I can say, hey, the smallest thing in here is this one eighth. So I can replace this one fifth by one eighth, this one sixth by one eighth, that one seventh by one eighth, and then that one eighth is always has always just been a one eighth. And when I add these all up and put my parentheses around it, well, lo and behold, that's a half two. And so what I get is something that's nice and easy to compute. If I just wanted to compute, right there, are other ones. If I just want to compute these terms, I get one half plus one half plus one half is strictly less than. So the harmonic series here is strictly less than this amount plus a bunch of other stuff, which will turn out to be one half if you keep, keep doing the process. Two and a half plus a half plus a half plus a half. So it gets really big is what is the main point. So that's why it diverges because the harmonic series is always bigger than or equal to one plus as many one halves as you need to make it as big as your, your big N. Uh, the other direction is very, very similar, right? Uh, Cauchy condensation says that we need to have these decreasing sequence of B sub n's, and we're just going to, that should be B sub 2, B sub 3, B sub 4, B sub 5, B sub 6, B sub 7, right? So the, the main point here is that, again, we're just going to be adding up B1 plus B2 plus B3, plus B4, plus B5, plus B6, plus B7, plus da 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 da. Now what we're going to do for this part of the proof, right, this is the forward direction of the Cauchy condensation, is again we're going to group them in a clever manner, those two together, these four together, except now the point is I want this to be less than or equal to something small. Here I want this to be bigger than or equal to something big, now I want this to be less than or something less than or equal to something small so we can get to, to converge. So what we do is we just say, hey, right right here, this B2, I, I'm going to replace this by something bigger. This B3 is less, th is, is less than or equal to B2. So if I replace it by B2, that makes the whole thing bigger. And similarly here, I can replace it by a bunch of B4s. And now I get, say, a 2B2 plus 4B4, which is exactly what the Cauchy condensation series talks about.